Hey guys, I'm Mike and this is Kina. Welcome to MKO Studio and thanks for joining us today. Today we're doing two separate pours. I'm going to attempt to do a jellyfish. She did one. Came out really good. We already sold it. So I'm going to see if I can do my rendition of a jellyfish. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just trying something different. I've got a lot of leftover colors and I'm just going to see if... Uh, Using a dry board, I can create um, balloon smashes and just see what I come out with. Cool. Just trying different colors, trying different things. Awesome. All right. Well, I think I'm going to give it a first shot. Yep. You go ahead and get yours started. All right. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to run through my colors real quick. I'm going to be using Liquitex Basics Acrylic Phthalo Blue. I'm using Artist Loft Neon Blue. Artist Loft Phthalo Green. Deco Art Americana Ultramarine Blue. And then for the jellyfish, I'm gonna, gonna be using these dragon glazes. This one is a red violet blue shift. This one is a violet blue green shift. And then I'm also gonna be uh, using Deco Art Enchanted Shimmer along with the dragon glazes. This is a green color. I'm thinking jellyfishes are so translucent that maybe I'll get away with making a jellyfish out of those. This is really a top glaze. It's really meant to like bring darker colors definitely to light. I'm gonna see how it works because I'm going on darker colors and I'm gonna see if it gives me what I'm looking for. If not, I also have some uh, Artist Love Soft Body Acrylic Paint, white, uh, made up, more than enough, but this is just gonna say we could use a lot of white. I also decided I'm gonna potentially use this Deep Magenta from Artist Loft. I don't know if I'm gonna to have to or not, but I have it made up just in case. My vision is this is gonna be the head of my jellyfish, his legs are going down there. I'm gonna work in the head first, and then I'll work his tentacles out afterwards. So I want him to be in deep water, but a little shallower near the top. So it's gonna to be darker here to a lighter here where his head is. Oh, I'm using a 10 by 20 canvas, needs 8.1 ounces. I got so many different colors. We're just gonna see where it comes out. So I'm using my Thalo. I'm gonna use it heavy down here. And then a little thinner up here. All my consistencies are about a level two, which makes a little bit of a mound, but not a huge amount. Use this, um, what's this? Ultramarine. I'm gonna go into a lighter blue up top here. And then <clears throat> C's not really blue. It's got a little green in it. I'm gonna start down here in my darker area. Just blend these together. So I'm gonna start with my uh, purplish, red, violet, blue, then take it into <clears throat> the violet, blue, green, and then use this greenish more for the tentacles. So I'm going to 
give him a dome. Now I'm gonna use my mini blower. Let me try this attachment. Let's put um, this bluish one, and they kind of have like a body to them somewhat, near the middle, and it falls down a little bit. I might use a straw, see how this works. All right, well, let's see what goes on here with ten tentacle land. I can always come back and work on that. Right now, it just looks like a mushroom in the sky. Let's go with this greenish.
Anyway, the tentacles are pretty cool. Let's take a little bit of this white. Try to do a little bit of an outline here. See if we can soften it. All right, my turn. So I probably won't be talking much throughout this video because it's just going to be trial and error of different colors on this dry surface and see what I can come up with. So let's get started.
let's try making some puddles on the silicone mat. See where we go from there. Transferring it over. Boy, that was so much fun. That was fun. Yes. Mwah. I love how it came out. It's not perfect, but I'm really digging how this is looking. If it holds, I'm going to be really happy. Um, we'll see. See how she dries. But I like the translucence being able to work on this. Because I guess on top, darker colors. Yeah. Yeah. So. And jellyfish are translucent. So yeah. I like that. Well, mine's a... Field of flowers, all different kinds, all different colors. I uh, basically wanted to just try and see if this technique would work on a dry canvas. It does. I think I like the technique better when I put it on the silicone mat and transferred over. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that worked a whole lot better. Some of these colors aren't that great, but it's going to be a great 3D effect looking, I think, when it's, yes, it's, when it's completed layered. because of the depth. Yeah, yeah, there's depth to it because of the layering of the flowers. Yeah. So at least now I know the best way to go about some um, balloon smashes. I'm going to try to convince her to do some 3D bubbles on this thing. I don't know if she'll do it, but I'm going to try really hard. We'll see. We invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ring that bell. And click all. That way you'll be notified every time MKO Studio puts out a new video. Absolutely. We would hope you, you would like our video, uh, share it with friends, family, groups you're in, uh, drop us a comment. We love answering comments. Let us know what you thought about our artwork. Yeah. You'll see the final results when it's wet and dry. And be sure to save our video. That way you can come back to it and find it a whole lot quicker. And we have a, a Facebook account also, MKO Studio on Facebook. Uh, we have many followers there, and there's a lot more videos on that channel. We're just starting to make a huge push for YouTube. We'll see what happens. So you guys are getting exclusives, though. This is one of the exclusives that we're not putting on our Facebook page. Right. But there's other ones that we do put on our Facebook page. So if you want to check out some of our older stuff, really good stuff. Yep. Yep. Till next time, y'all. Be blessed. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.
So after I finished this painting, I didn't like the white canvas that was along the sides. So I used Prussian Blue Hue by Liquitex, and I left the flowers, I mean the balloon smashes, along the side where they hung over. So you can see there, and they're at the top, and I think the Blue Hue made a big difference.